Hello, my name is Neva Smumba, President for the New Hope Movement for Multi-Party Democracy. On Monday, April 12, 2021, Zambia received its first batch of the COVID-19 vaccine, which is known as AstraZeneca. In January this year, I released a statement concerning government's plan for a vaccine rollout following the vaccine frenzy which has caught world attention. In my video clip, I stated that no Zambian should be given any vaccine which is not verified and tested by our own scientists. This was purely a call to national safety. This video, which went viral around the world and still trending, raised critical moral questions on behalf of all Africans. Today, I shall not deal with what we have already dealt with in our previous statement. The vaccine has since arrived in the country. This step taken by government must now be adequately interrogated in the interest of all Zambians. We recommend that the Minister of Health opens a public debate to deal with, number one, the safety and efficacy of this vaccine. Secondly, to provide a convincing approval report from our own scientists. Thirdly, to create a framework which protects Zambians in case of long-term medical implications as a result of this vaccine. The minister must also indicate how this vaccine shall stop the spread of the virus and whether the vaccine will translate into throwing away the wearing of masks and having our lives return to normal. These factors are critical in order for us to assess the importance and really the relevance of this vaccine. I'm aware that there is a big rush for every country to get this vaccine. But as we have always indicated, we're a sovereign state that will ensure that all I's are dotted and all T's are crossed before we indulge in this international frenzy of the vaccine. Weighing the dangers of not taking the vaccine against the dangers of taking the vaccines will help Zambians to determine whether this vaccine is even necessary. We are a sovereign nation and we are entitled to question any program which can negatively impact future generations of Zambians. We, however, have not done due diligence in this matter as a nation. We were all aware that the coming of COVID-19 would be followed by production of a vaccine that could be imposed on the global community by introducing a vaccine passport, for instance, without which one is unable to visit other countries. This is a huge challenge for those that will feel uncomfortable in taking this vaccine. As president of Zambia, elected president, I will do the following. I will sponsor an aggressive national information dissemination program to educate and to listen to the fears of the Zambian people. Secondly, I will insist that people must have a choice to take the vaccine or not, to take it best on their own personal convictions or conclusions. Thirdly, I will further engage the global community on our sovereign stand as a nation that our citizens are to take individual positions and must never be coerced to take the vaccination. In view of this, I will recommend that Zambians be not stopped from visiting other nations based on a lack of the so-called vaccine passport. We are, however, going to recommend that we only subject our citizens to COVID tests before a trip is made as the case currently is. In this case, Zambia shall take a stand based on our own moral principles 
are not a global cohesion program. Allow me to say this and state it as clearly as I can. Zambia is a sovereign nation. We have solved many problems before. We have a global pandemic, and I understand that we need a global solution to this pandemic. But that does not take away the sovereignty of nations. And I believe that what we are asking for is not too much. The United States of America has their own system of verifying whatever vaccine or medication for that matter that is distributed amongst its population. Europe, the same. They will never give to their citizens any medicine or vaccine that they have not proven to be safe, they themselves, even though it comes from the United States. Europe must be satisfied that it's good for their people. That is why governments are elected, to protect and defend the people who put them in office. Here in Zambia, we may be a small country. We may even be called poor, unable to make our own vaccines. But that does not mean we can't check it out. And this is our position as a new hope movement for multi-party democracy. As president, I will not endanger the lives of our people. We might survive it now as a generation, but the children that may be born out of us may not be as, as safe as we could be if we do not prepare their future by ensuring that there will be no side effects 20 years down the road. It is for this reason that it's incumbent upon this government of the Patriotic Front to ensure that there is verification, authentication of the efficacy of this vaccine we're going to take. I will not get into the situation of how this particular vaccine has fared around the world, but I can only say it has raised many questions globally as to its safety, and we should not close our eyes in the name of being registered amongst the nations that have gone out to get a vaccine. Until we are comfortable that it is safe, we should wait. Right now, what we need is a debate on this vaccine as it is being rolled out. I thank you, and may God bless our great republic. This is Nevis Mumba leader of the movement for multi-party democracy, and I'm running for president. I thank you.